Ace Money the name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a BE with handicappers. So it's a SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. What's going on? Mace Money and this is Sportsbook Robbery. So uh, September 13th, WNBA. A few games on the slate. I'm running very late. I'm going to run through this pretty quick. Uh, first off, Atlanta Smith rebounds over four and a half. Playing Chicago. Um, this number was just highly juiced. It literally just came down. It was like 150, 160. Might have been more than that. It just dropped down to 118. As you see, DraftKings got it at minus 210. So uh, definitely capable of going over it. Uh, regular days, she goes over this. These are all bad days. She was hurt and came back. But uh, Chicago's fourth overall to rebounds, for position in third. But now they lost their best rebounder. Uh, I juggled between a few other plays. Cardoza with her points. I get a 10, like 10. You know, they got it at like 11 and a half now or something. Kind of fell off. And then that other chick that took Reese's spot. They bumped her lines up, like I said would happen. Uh, we hit her rebounds last game, but we didn't hit her points. She fouled out. Uh, we hooked it, I think. That also got bumped up. Uh, capable going over both. I just figured this is the best play, and I'm rocking with it. Lana Smith uh, rebounds over four and a half. All right, second up... Uh, since returning from the break and getting uh, Sabali and Seegers back, McCown's been on, on a tear with rebounds. Uh, it's been moving up and down the line. It's always come. I would have been better at 7.5. I missed it. It's at 8.5. Uh, Bet MGM 135. I wish I would have played it, but I played it on FanDuel 152. You know, I got to take my own advice. I do have multiple books. I just didn't have money in that account. Uh, as you see, this is after the break. She played Liberty twice. First time she missed this. Just played yesterday. She went over it. Uh, minutes have been a little flaky. That's the problem right now. She's exceeded seven and a half in eight of the last ten games. It's at eight and a half. She's... Eight of the last ten for eight and a half too, but um, right before playoffs, you know, some some teams still got shit to play for. Other teams don't. Uh, it's hit or miss. It's a little tough. It's really why it took me so long to get a video out. I've been trying to figure out what to play, who to play, how to play it. Uh, we did real good the other day. Then the last day. You know, I think we got one for one out of four, but uh, a couple close ones. But you know, sports betting for you. But yeah, Tierra McCown rebounds over eight and a half. If you can get it lower, we get it lower. If you're playing these pick 'em sites uh, where you got to parlay them, always get it as low as you can. If they got it at seven and a half, get it at seven and a half or six and a half. Let's get it. All right, Brianna Jones on Connecticut points over 14 and a half, minus 122. Uh, line was at 15 and a half. Did come down. It's been on the tear. She's been counting it. We've been playing it for a while. You can check out our rebounds, too. Uh, they had her points and rebounds. Had a good number, but it moved today. Uh, five and a half minus 150, I like. It's a little juice, but if you're spending more money, it's worth it. Uh, I mean, she should get six as well. You can try for the plus money. Six and a half. 
She's been going over it. But uh, I like their points the best. 14 and a half minus 122. Five straight games. Phoenix is our ninth overall in points. Let's get it. All right, we're going to run with Mabry. Points over 13 and a half minus 120. Uh, oh, shit, they dropped it. Look at that, I just missed it. 12 and a half, play it. Fandle just went down just now. She's uh, cleared this one at 7 out of 10. Last game, she had 26. Very capable of going over it. She exceeded 12 and a half points, eight of the last 10 games on the road. So uh, if all goes well, she should clear it. Uh, sorry for rushing through this uh, seven. It's about to be seven o'clock now. Maybe 12 and a half points. <laughs> Plus money. Uh, I just dropped the plays in the community so you get a head start. Once again, sorry for being so late. Uh, this one I did a half unit. So, uh, you know, she's hasn't been hitting it. As you see, it's more of a gut feeling. Head to head. Every time they've played, she's gone over this. Gone over it by a lot. Three times they played this year, she's gone over it. 10, 8, and 11. Uh, Phoenix is last place to rebounds overall to the guard position, ranked 11th, which is just about last place. Uh, I said this a while ago, every guard, not every guard, but guards that play the, uh, Phoenix always get a lot of rebounds. So I always try to play the guard against the best rebounds. So uh, hopefully that strategy still works and Carrington goes over this. Uh, it's why the number did go up, I'm sure. Because, I mean, look at it, minus 224 at 4.5. And, and uh, her number is normally at 4 and at 3.5, and 4.5. So, um, yeah, hopefully she catches it. Uh, I feel confident about all these plays. If you could like the video, new viewers, hit that subscribe button. Turn on the notifications where you get everything I do. Uh, all the plays I bet, uh, live bets, anything I do. I try to be as transparent as possible. Let's get that money. Ace money to name, getting paper to game. Let's go.